Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the first official introduction to Ambassador Theatre Group's multi-purpose entertainment venue, Swansea Arena, due to launch in early 2022. Thank you so much for joining us today, as we know how busy everyone is at the moment. At ATG, we're extremely proud to have invested in the development and finish of the venue, as well as the long-term running and operation of it as our first in Wales. We want to make it a huge success for the area and to ensure any investment made by the city is quickly returned. We are aiming to bring a market leading programme of performances to the arena across music, comedy, theatre and dance, as well as being able to offer an extensive unparalleled conference and events facility. And we hope that this insight into both Swansea and the venue today will encourage you to consider us for your future events. The arena is the first of its type in the area, so it's going to be a game changer for people living in or near the city and will offer a brand new audience for live events to those who previously haven't toured to Swansea. The lovely Hugh Stevens will now present his guide to the coastal city of Swansea and will also reveal a state-of-the-art fly-through and other digital assets. There will be a live Q&A with me and my team running in the comments throughout, so any questions you have, please don't hesitate to pop them in there and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much and over to Hugh. Hey, I'm Hugh Stevens, and I'm in beautiful Swansea. Swansea is one of those places. It's absolutely glorious here. It's coastal living with city amenities, and I've always loved its vibrancy as well. There's always been a cluster of artists, entrepreneurs, entertainers, and students in Swansea, mixing here and loving life. The city's undergoing a billion pound regeneration, a regeneration with a strong emphasis on active travel, beautiful and sustainable public spaces, and leisure and hospitality. It's gonna make Swansea a real destination, and one that will only grow in popularity. As you may know, and probably why you're watching this, a big part of this regeneration is the brand new state-of-the-art Swansea Arena. It's a waterside, 3,500 capacity, multi-purpose entertainment venue. It's a short walk away from the beach and an even shorter walk away from Swansea Marina. Swansea Arena is part of the 135 million Copper Bay Phase 1 redevelopment led by Swansea Council. It also includes the landmark Copper Bay Bridge, a coastal park, car parking, new apartments and loads of new places to eat and drink. The arena will host around 160 events across music, comedy and esports and conference events for around 230,000 visitors each year. Anyone visiting the arena for an event are in for a completely different experience compared to other venues of its kind. And that's because of its location. Swansea is one of the few UK cities based on an enormous, beautiful, sandy beach. It's fringed with a coastal footpath with panoramic views of the city on one side and the famous Mumbles on the other. Swansea Beach is located on a five mile stretch of the promenade that links the city centre to the Mumbles further up the coastline. And speaking of coastline, Swansea has over 32 miles of it. There's over 50 beaches and over 50 parks and gardens as well, which means if you're here for business or for pleasure, it's got it all. Lovely. Now, if you're coming to Swansea with a whole clan for a family show and you're looking to make a day of it, then we've got you covered. As you'd expect from a beautiful beachfront city, Swansea's got all the fun of the fair going on. If you're looking for things to do, an ice cream from Joe's is a must. The indoor market selling quality Welsh produce is a must. There's the Dylan Thomas Centre, the Maritime Quarter, and the list goes on. If you're into your outdoor activities, Swansea's got it going on, and in the Mumbles, and in the stunning Gower, which has to be seen to be believed. You name it, Swansea's got it. From surfing to horse riding, archery to kayaking, mountain climbing to stand up paddle boarding. Better get my wetsuit on. Double XL, please. Let's have a look inside the arena then.
Lisa, tell me about Swansea Arena. It's all very exciting. It's really very exciting. So Swansea Arena is the first arena owned by ATG in the UK, so it's a really big deal for us. It's 3,500 capacity, which is going to be the biggest venue currently in Swansea. And we're hoping that it's going to bring a real range of new artists to the area that Swansea maybe haven't had before. And how's the building itself developing? Have you been down to see it? I have been down to see it, yes. I'm often sticking my nose in while they're trying to be busy doing their work and I want to see what's happening. Um, no, it's coming along really well. Obviously, there's been a lot of COVID guidelines and regulations, um, but they've managed to keep mostly to schedule. They've been doing a fantastic job. We're really happy with them. And we've got to a stage now where it's watertight, which is fantastic. That's a real key moment in the build. And also the walls are up inside. So from my perspective, I can walk in, I can open doors, I can say this is where the bar would be, this is where the dressing rooms would be. And most impressively, I can stand in the middle of the auditorium and see the scale of it and imagine three and a half thousand people in there and really understand understand what the venue is going to look like and that's incredibly exciting. It already has that atmosphere to it that you know it's going to be incredible. That's great. And what are you most excited about in your new role as general manager of the arena? Well it's such a fantastic venue. It's been designed specifically that it can be so flexible in terms of the way the seating's arranged, where the stage can go and also to be incredibly welcoming to visiting promoters, visiting artists. Um, I think we're going to be able to offer a really special experience as well as access to audiences that haven't had access to these sorts of artists before. And there's a lot of expertise in live events already in Wales, isn't there? And in yes. this part of the world, so you'll be able to tap into that as well, I guess. Yeah, and it's great for me. Obviously, coming from the Ambassador Theatre Group, we are mostly theatre focused. So this is our first ever arena. So I am going to be relying really heavily on the Wales music scene to kind of assist in making this arena a success. We really want it to be uh, a group project that we're all really proud of. It's not just ATG, it's, it's Wales as a whole. It's been described as a game changer for Swansea. How is that so? Well, it's not just a game changer for the people of Swansea and surrounding areas. It's also a real game changer for uh, promoters and for touring companies as well, because they've never had access to this part of the country before. You know, a quarter of a million people live in Swansea who currently, for this scale of event, would have to travel through to Cardiff, travel through further to the east. Um, but there's also two million people with a, within a one hour drive time as well of the arena, both sides. And what kind of acts will you be booking? Well, that's the question everyone wants to know the answer to, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, we are a multi-purpose entertainment venue. So although the largest majority of our bookings are going to be music acts, we are going to also be having comedy, um, premium musical theatre as well for those performers that want to perform to over 2,000 people that maybe have not had access to a venue of this scale in this area, but also things like e-gaming, sports, you know, the flexibility of our auditorium means we can do things like wrestling, uh, we can play things in the round, so there's, uh, it, we're limitless in terms of all the different things that we can offer, and we want to really have something for everyone. This part of Wales loves its live events, so to have that eclectic lineup on our doorstep is going to be really special and you're moving to Swansea as well have you had time to take in the sights yet a little bit obviously because of all the regulations it's been quite hard to get out and about I'm so excited and um, everyone keeps telling me how beautiful the mumbles is I cannot wait to get down there and have my first ice cream on the seaside and obviously I've been getting to know the city centre a lot and it's just such a lovely friendly vibe everyone's been so welcoming people have been reaching out to me I'm so looking forward to coming here. Being from Scotland originally and growing up by the seaside as well, it feels a little bit like I'm coming home. Uh, there's a lot of similarities in terms of the community and that friendliness. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. And that reaching out and working with the local music community is really important because things have been growing here in Swansea for a number of years now, haven't they? In terms of venues and of artists breaking and you want to work really close with those, don't you? Yeah, of course. I think, you know, coming in and sticking a massive arena in the middle of a city that's got its own uh, organic grassroots music organisations, you know, it can feel a little bit like a big commercial property is coming in and stamping their foot. We don't want that at all. We want the building to be used by everyone. We want it to be open. We want it to be accessible. We're looking to have around 160 events a year of a professional capacity, but that leaves so much time for the building to be used by the community and by local organisations. I don't really want there ever to be a day that there isn't something happening. So I don't want people to be afraid of reaching out to us and asking to work with us because we're absolutely open to that. Fantastic. Good luck with everything. We'll see you in the arena. Thank you.
Now, when I'm not paddle boarding, I love getting out and about into a city and finding out everything it has to offer. And Swansea has loads. Swansea has a really vibrant scene going on with bars, pubs, clubs and restaurants, loads of live music spaces, fueled by a population of 250,000 people in the city and some 30,000 students across two universities. The city has proven to be safe at night, having been awarded the coveted Purple Flag Award. Outside of the city, around 600,000 people live within half an hour's drive to Swansea and around 2 million within an hour's drive. There really is something for everyone in Swansea, with the city living complemented by the stunning beaches and the outdoor living, making it a perfect destination for families, older audiences and, of course, business trips. Swansea Arena will bring something new to these audiences. There hasn't been a venue of this style in the city or in the area before now. And for those in Swansea and west of the city, it's really going to be a game changer. In the near future, Swansea's billion pound redevelopment will deliver new homes and workspaces, attracting thousands of new residents in the city centre, young affluent workers and students. Three million pounds is being invested into the legendary party strip known as Wine Street, which for as long as I can remember has been such an important and vital part of a night out in Swansea. The street is currently undergoing redevelopment work to turn it into a cafe quarter, reducing traffic and making it a lovely place to hang out during the day. There were some really exciting plans announced in February 2021 by Swansea Council regarding improvements to here, Castle Square, right in the heart of the city. It's a public space which will see more greenery, water features and places to eat and drink. Like you and so many people living in and around Swansea, live music is a really important part of life and brilliant venues are really important too and Swansea has got loads of them. Swansea's nightlife really is legendary so if it's drinks before a show to soak up the atmosphere you're after or after being in the arena to party long into the night you're guaranteed a good time. There's something for everybody with pop punk at the bunkhouse to higher profile shows here at Sin City folk music at Tea Tower and then a blend of local favourites and international superstars at the Garage and grassroots shows at Hangar 18. Swansea is a city steeped in musical heritage and on the live music front everyone from Paul McCartney to Pink Floyd, Little Mix, The Killers and The Stereophonics have graced stages here from tiny little venues to the leafy Brangwyn Hall. With annual events like the Swansea Fringe and the Gower Festival and many more, Swansea has a year-long programme that focuses attention on festivals and creativity and inner city venues and with Swansea Arena joining the lineup, the the city is going to be further placed as a leading player within the Welsh artistic landscape. With such a vibrant music scene, it'll come as no surprise that Swansea's had plenty of breakout acts on a local and international level. We've seen the likes of Man, Badfinger, Taint and Prosperina, Bandicoot, Dream State, Trampoline, Rachel K. Collier and many more, including, of course, how could I forget, Bonnie Tyler break out of Swansea to tour internationally. The Swansea Grapevines tapped me up and told me that some names to look out for in the future include the Orange Circus, Inscape, uh, Lost Tuesday Society, Sarah Birch, All Dead All Dead and Ken's. It's a really special city, it's got a magical history and it's got a truly exciting future ahead of it. I'll see you down the front. Thanks Hugh and thank you all so much for joining us today and for your questions. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you think of anything else though, please do drop our press team an email and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Swansea Arena will boost the community and economy of Swansea and will appeal to customers and businesses across South Wales and beyond. We just can't wait to open the doors and welcome people in. We hope to see you soon.